Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick and I'm a top author on training you with over 260k reputation points and every day I share a lot of free education and analysis for all of you. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all this free content and I will see you on the chart. In today's video, I want to speak about CHF JPY. Now, as usual, I will be providing first a multi time frame technical analysis, then we will go and see what we have from an order flow perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what the non commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move here on the pair. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, what do we have? Now here on the monthly, we can clearly see that we have a market which is currently testing very strong previous monthly resistance, which now that we have broken to the upside is turned support at this level. Now, as we are testing previous monthly resistance turn support, there is definitely the possibility to see the market provide a rejection to the upside. So on the monthly, everything is bullish. We are testing support and we expect a rejection to the upside. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now here on the weekly, we can see first of all a strong impulse to the upside and then a nice slow correction. Now, in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you must take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we do that, we can see how we just went for a perfect 50% Fibonacci retracement, which the market tested to the pip and immediately started rejecting to the upside. And we can also see how this 50% was lining gap perfectly with this previous weekly resistance turn support, creating a confluence of support at this area that we did expect the market to start rejecting to the upside. And that is what we're currently getting. Just a quick thing, make sure that you like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below any suggestions for new videos. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now here on the daily, we can see a lot of sideways price action developing, clearly showing a potential accumulation that is going on around this area before the rejection to the upside actually starts. If we are to identify the structure, we can see that this is the high that the market needs to break in order to shift back to a bullish structure from a daily perspective. When we will see the break above this high, this previous resistance will then be turned support and that is when we can expect more continuation to the upside. Now, if we go and see what we have from a COT perspective, so commitment of traders, which is basically what the non-commercials and the biggest speculators in the market are doing, we can see how lately net positions have been increasing. We went from having minus 20K net positions up to having minus 11K net positions. So overall, in the short term, we are getting an increase, slow increase in the net positioning, which it could definitely continue. So we could uh, possibly even start shifting back to a positive net positioning for the CHF. But what is clear is that the GPY is incredibly weak with minus 97k net positions with 119k short positions and only 20k longs. So definitely way more shorts than longs with a very weak GPY. And we already see that reflected in the price action, especially on the monthly time frame, where we clearly see that we are in a strong uptrend. So a break back above this high would simply be a continuation of the long term a trend that we have already identified on the monthly and weekly. So if and only if we will finally have a successful break of structure from a daily perspective after the break on the retest of the previous resistance turn support, this is a very interesting area inside of which with students, we could be looking for a potential longing opportunity. And the way in which we will be doing that is as usual being reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the intraday timeframes. So for our and lower. So after the break on the retest inside of here, we will be monitoring price action with students from an intraday perspective, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we will have to an intraday bullish market. 
And as soon as the market will shift from an intraday bearish to a bullish market at that point, we will be adding a CHF JPY to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be looking for a potential long with a good risk to reward and good probabilities at that point for the move to the upside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside and for the market to provide and create a potential higher high. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free analysis, education, and updates for all of you. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then every single day, you get a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies in live market. And you also get your questions answered every day in the daily Q&A session. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.